What is going on guys? So I got another quick Google Maps video and it is how to view live traffic. So I'm on my computer here. I'm not on my phone, but your phone will also have this tool as well, especially if you're in driving mode, traffic will be updating live as you're driving, which is great. But if you want to like just see a route ahead of time on your computer before you head out or just see like what traffic is like usually at this time of day, um, Google Maps traffic is great for that. So obviously you're going to want to go to Google Maps and once you're on it, just go to the area you want to inspect and on the bottom left hand corner here you'll see layers and if you just hover over it there's the traffic option and if you do not see this just click on more and then under map details you'll be able to see traffic so this updates live and you'll be able to see a legend here green is fast orange is like getting slower red is like very slow and brown is like a complete stop and as you can see here on the 401 in uh at 7 30 p.m it's still heavy traffic in toronto because that's just how it is even in downtown toronto look at all this red and orange not great to drive around here and this is all updating live and if you want to just see typical traffic you can select this and this is like typical at a time of day this is collected data over a period of time averaged out and given to you so um, for example, Wednesday, let's do Wednesday at rush hour 5.30. Yeah, you can see traffic getting worse and worse and worse. Lots of red, brown here, so this is like a dead stop. And yeah, take a look at Toronto in rush hour, just a red city. Um, this is great for highways especially. The side roads might not be as accurate, but for highways for sure. And this also picks up on construction too. So if there's construction and it's causing slowness, Google Maps will account for this as well. So that's pretty much it guys. You can play with this like that. If you want to go back to live traffic, you select this. Um, and then you can just turn it off if you don't want to view it for a second, turn it back on. That's all it really is. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.